Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. Now, like me, you might have upgraded to Windows 10, but might find you've still got some software that requires Internet Explorer. For example, my CCTV system only will work on Internet Explorer. In the manual, it does say that there are add-ons for Chrome and Firefox, but I've never managed to get them to work and I don't know anyone that has. Obviously, Windows 11 no longer comes with Internet Explorer, so what can you do? Well, there is a way around it. So let me just show you. If I go into Microsoft Edge, which is the replacement for Internet Explorer, and I'm just gonna try going into my cameras. So normally, I would type in the IP address of my cameras up the top in the address bar, right at the top of the screen. Okay, so let's just do that. And uh, it actually does get me to the login page, which is a bit of an improvement because before I used to get like a blank page here. But when I type in my password, I get the message that the password is invalid. There you go, password error. But on other systems, I've found that when I try to log in, it logs me in, but I just don't get any of the cameras come up on screen. So uh, there could be various errors on your systems which uh, need Internet Explorer. Here's a guide on how to get around that. So we have a couple of suggestions. We can try the free one, first of all, which is in Microsoft Edge, go up to the three dots in the top right hand corner there then go down to settings just down here. And then what we want to do is we want to go into default browser just on the left here. And we want to turn on Internet Explorer mode. So it says when browsing in Microsoft Edge, if a site requires Internet Explorer for compatibility, you can choose to reload it in Internet Explorer mode. So at the moment it's set to default. So I'm just going to uh, set it to allow okay so it says for this setting to take effect you need to restart your browser so let's just click on the blue and white restart just there we'll let edge restart and let's see what happens okay so it's restarted and the next thing we need to do is we need to add internet explorer mode pages so it says these pages will open in internet explorer mode for 30 days from the date you add the page so it tells me no pages have been added to the internet explorer mode list yet so it looks like you have to re add these pages after 30 days. So I'm gonna type in the, the, the web address for my CCTV. So then I just click add. So there you go, it tells us it was added today but it expires on the 16th of October. 2021 when we've got to re-add it again. So let's just close down Microsoft Edge and then open Edge again. I'm just gonna try my security cameras again. And here we go, the page is just loading and it tells us here, you are in Internet Explorer mode. Most pages work better in Microsoft Edge and the, the screen is a little smaller in actual fact. And now I've got a download button just in the top right hand corner here of my login box. And there we go. So it says, do you want to run or save newactive.exe? So let's, uh, let's save it. It's got here, Internet Explorer block this website from installing an ActiveX control. So let's just click install there and see what happens. If this doesn't help, then I'm gonna try running the download that I just uh, all did. So, right, do you want to allow the, this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? So I'm gonna say yes to that. And uh, it says the publisher of newactive.exe could not be verified. Okay, let's go to run and see what happens. And it says Windows has blocked this software because it cannot verify the publisher. So let's just go to okay there. So, okay, let's go to the downloads folder where I downloaded that new active. So I'm just gonna click on the yellow folder at the bottom of the screen here. And then I'm gonna to go to the downloads folder. And this is what it downloaded for me was this uh, this new active file just here. So let's just double click on that and see whether or not it will let me install that. Okay, so it's saying that Windows protected your PC. So I'm, I know where it's come from. So I'm just gonna click on more info and then I'm gonna click on run anyway. And let's just see if uh, if that works. Now, this new active is um, actually for my CCTV system. So you might not get this, but uh, we're just gonna give it a try. Okay, so it's asking me to select my language. So I'm gonna select English just there and then click next. And uh, let's click next again. 
and then click next again and next again and next again. Let's just follow that through. Okay, so it's finished now, so I'm just gonna click finish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that new active now. Don't need it anymore, now it's installed hopefully. So let's just click on the bin just there and then let's close down this downloads window. Let's come out of Edge and go back into it again and let's just go into my security cameras again and at the bottom of the screen here again it says this web page wants to run the following add-on web active x module from microsoft unverified publisher so let's just say allow okay then so now i've got the username and password box up so let's just type in my username and let's type in my password and let's see whether or not that will work. So far, so good. So let's just click on OK here. And yep, there we go. The cameras are working. Now I've had to blur this out, unfortunately, for security, but uh, there you go. That's one way of doing this. Another way is to uh, open up Microsoft Edge. So let's just close this down. Let's open up Microsoft Edge. And then if we go to the three dots in the top right hand corner there, and then just go down to extensions just there, click on that, and then go to get extensions for Microsoft Edge. And in the search are all add-ons, type in there IE space tab. That's IE space tab and there you go you can see it's just there so just click on that and what we want to do is we want to find this icon just here by blackfish software llc move your mouse over the get just to the right of ie tab by blackfish software llc and then click get and then click add extension now I must stress that uh, this is just a free trial. The full version for a lifetime's license does cost, at the time of recording this video, $19. But obviously, if it does help you out, it's well worth it. Let's just click on the cross just there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn off IE mode here. Let's just remove my camera site from there and set that back to default. Let's just restart Edge. What we what we can find now is we've got this little icon just up here that says click to display this page in an IE based tab. Let's just go back to my cameras. Okay, let's just try logging in again. Okay, so no, it's not letting me log in. Right, so let's just click on this here and uh, it gives us some instructions here so it says that we've got to install this ie tab helper so let's just click on open file just up there in the top right hand corner just below ie tab helper okay and i'm just going to try typing in my username and password again and click login so uh, no i don't want it to remember the password okay so it's not accepting my password in this but never fear there are some options we can uh, fiddle with so i'm just going to click ok on that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the settings just up there in the top right hand corner that's the spanner and screwdriver click on that let's just go down to the bottom here and there you go we've got the different compatibility modes now it's chosen our internet explorer 7 which is quite an old browser so let's just try IE 11, which was the last version of Internet Explorer, and we're going to try the standards mode there. Now, to get it to accept the changes, I'm going to have to come out of Microsoft Edge, go back into it again, and then I'm going to have to click on the IE tab again, just up there to get the bar to come up on the screen. There we go. And then I'm going to type in my web address for my CCTV cameras. Okay, so the box has come up on the screen. Let's just try the password again. And there we go. As you can see, it's now logged in for us. Let's just click on OK there. And sorry, I've had to blur this out, but the cameras have come up. There you go. There's a couple of ways of getting older software to run with Microsoft Edge that used to require an active X control in Windows 10 or earlier using Internet Explorer. Hope this guide helps. And if you think this could help other people, friends, colleagues or family, then don't forget to share this video on your social media timeline. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button to find out about more great videos that I'm releasing. Thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CW Tech 
on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.